Oh. Went from a five to a ten, you know. Bitch, bow down. Look who turned to a clown now. I came back like a Marian. You fell off like bow wow. You ain't got no class. Can't sit with us, can't come to my school. Ain't got time for this dumb little fool. Hi, everybody. It's me, Lani Good. Mm hmm. Lani with the good good. Okay, so hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, then I fuck with you heavy. You know I love you. Um so basically today, I have to always do this because I always get lipstick on my teeth. But basically today I'm gonna do like a, a different type of video. It's gonna kind of be a story time, but it's also gonna be just like about my experiences you know with boys and some of my de the decisions i've made and one day I, like i was just thinking recently like how good this video would be because i thought like this video could really help someone especially somebody young who is um conflicted about the the right decision to make when it comes to losing their virginity and um i take sex very seriously i think i even take it more seriously now i've got older because I feel like they like I totally a hundred million percent believe in soul ties. I totally one hundred and fifty million percent believe in soul ties, um, soul bondages. I believe in all of that stuff. I'm sure a lot of you um, believe that I I have been through some of that because you know some of you have seen my experiences here on YouTube. So I'm someone who's just a believer that sex is like sex can be extremely powerful like extremely powerful a, a strong bond between two people and um as women i feel like we have to be smart with the decisions that we make do you know what i mean we have to really think it through before we make it so basically before i okay where will i start with this because it's kind of like two parts because i have regrets on how i lost it um but i think i also have regrets of who i lost it to so when i start talking i just want you to really really try and gather and fathom what i'm saying and i hope hopefully it can help you or it can help like your little sister your daughter um all of us are gonna have kids one day and we want to we want to like stir stir them down the right path not the wrong path so this advice is kind of paramount it's important so yeah i just want to do it right so basically this story is going to kind of um it's kind of it's gonna kind of question all the things that i was taught about sex uh losing your virginity and sex and relationships in general are not that straightforward they're not it, nothing is black and white so you may think there's a certain way to do something but at the end of the day everything you do in terms of opening your legs and giving your body to someone has to be mm, it has to be number one smart but it also has to make sense and then it has to make sense for you when you give your body to someone you have to be putting yourself first you have to be the driving force in that situation you can't be the one being blindsided you need to be in control kind of thing so um i lost my virginity i just don't want to ramble on too much i lost my virginity when i was about 19 20 i can't actually remember the exact age but it was after i got these bad boys done i was really insecure about my breasts beforehand so i wouldn't really sh let someone see me naked so it was after i got my breast done so maybe 1920 maybe 20-ish is when i lost my virginity but the shocking thing is this um the reason i regret losing my virginity to this boy obviously i'm going to tell you the story in a minute but it's actually because um i was about 20 yeah 20 when i lost my virginity and um i was i, was, I think i was the last in my friendship circle to lose it i'm going to talk about the misconceptions that i had um at that age compared to now so i f when i was younger i believe that the later you lost your virginity in age the more pure you were the more virtuous you were so if i lost my virginity say you, okay so i was 20 so if i lost it so if my friend for instance one of my friends lost it at 22 i would think sis one compared to me because she lost it later than me so i i saw age as a factor i thought women that waited till they were married definitely were winning um so you know the average age of marriage i don't even know what the average age of marriage is but let's just say in my head at the time i thought the average age of marriage was like 27 28 
if you are if you can survive to be a virgin until then or at least until you're in a relationship with that person that you're going to get married to and you lose it to them even if it's out of the, um like out of the um the sanctity of marriage i thought that was winning so these are all the things i had been taught in life and i think it, it you know what i just think it was a hindrance in to me it's not a hindrance to everybody but i'm just telling you my personal story in this 21st century, in this day and age, yeah, I don't think it's that easy to find the love of your life. So thinking you're going to save your virginity until you find the one, until you're married. Sis, you might have that virginity till you're 40. You might have it till you're 40, 45, 46, 50. And, you know, never to, 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 to wait that long to, to have sex and be intimate with a person is a really 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 long time so i just I, I don't think it's ideal so um and i just think it's unrealistic do you know what i mean so here i am to hopefully teach you lot something that i feel like i learned i'm gonna try and explain the best way i can even though i feel like it's gonna be kind of hard to get to the point but so now let me tell you about um the first time i ever started like linking anybody's dating anybody kissing boys i had my first kiss at 15. um shortly after my first kiss maybe the second or third boy i'd ever kissed i met this gorgeous gorgeous scrumptious man no he wasn't a man but boy and oh my god i had this huge crush huge crush on this boy that lived um in my area he only lived around the corner from me like five minutes around the corner from me at the time i was really into light skins i mean it was just a phase <laughs> i don't discriminate now but at the time i was really really into light skins so like you know chris brown and all the man there you know swing them my way so oh my god he reminded me of like a bow wow i suppose if you wanted to describe if i've had to describe what he looked like he was like a bow wow but but prettier like gorgeous gorgeous boy and oh my god i remember i was walking home from um school one day and um i used to see him on my bus i used to get the w8 yeah you know don't know you know big up enfield and that i used to get the w8 and he used to get on my bus and I got off the bus and um, I used to always see him and every time I saw him like my heart would stop and I used to think oh my god he's so gorgeous oh my god I had just the biggest crush on him and then one day he like um, was on a bike oh I even remember the world stopped guys the world stopped he was on a bike and he was like riding his bike here in front of me and I was like looking at him. I must have been looking at him. I must have been giving him the signal because I I fancied the shit out of him. And I had a nickname for him. Oh my god, I really hope you see this video. I really hope you see this video. Um my nickname for you was Buff Boy, because I thought he was so fine. Anyway, he must have stopped me and he was like, no, he must have said, Oi. Oh my god. Do you know I wrote this story in my diary, guys? That's how big of a deal it was to me. So he's, he oyed me. So he was like, oi. And I like the world stopped. The world stopped. I was like, oh my God, buff boy just oyed me. Are you dumb? Buff boy just oyed me. Like I couldn't believe it. And I obviously I was just like, hi, you're right. And then obviously like, you know, he was like, yo, my name's, <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna call him buff boy because that's what I actually wrote in my diary. So buff boy was just like, yo, like, you know what you saying or whatever and then he, i think he asked either for i can't remember what he asked for it was either my number or who knows uh, facebook who i can't remember i can't remember how people communicated back in the day how do people communicate back in the day i can't remember bbm who knows anyway he asked for my number now uh, or something some sort of sort, sort of communication and then we started talking and for someone who was so fine someone who was so fine he was actually such a lovely person the best of the best like he was so amazing and um i remember one day he said to me do i want to um link and obviously we're young we we don't have anywhere to go but i was like what do you want to do go to the park or whatever but i think the first time we linked it was like october-ish so it was kind of chilly so we couldn't just be outside so he said you guys this story <laughs> is this all coming back to me so he was like to me he was like to me like i know 
like a place in it um guys when he asked me to link him i swear my heart was going boom 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 do you understand boom 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 because this is buff boy this is this fine specimen chatting to me oh my god like I couldn't believe he was giving me the time of day. I'm going to be really honest, guys. I couldn't believe he was giving me the time of day. He was so, so fine to me. Like, I thought he was gorgeous. Like, I thought he was way, 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 way out of my league. So when I found out, so when he, like, asked me to link him, I just couldn't believe it. And you have to understand, I was a very naive, very sheltered girl. So he didn't even fathom it in my head like some of some people maybe if a person that they think is out of their league is talking to them they will they might think there's a possibility that the person wants to use them things like that because you know it's too good to be true but i was so naive i didn't even fathom that he could want anything out of me i just assumed that he wants to link me maybe he likes me like i just i was just dumb so anyway i remember he wanted he told me to link him at the train station the train station's only like um it's like a seven minute bop seven minutes yeah I know this because I have to leave my house eight minutes to get the train to go work, yeah? It's a minute, bop. I remember on the way there, I called my bestie, yeah? I was dying. I was, like, hyperventilating. I couldn't breathe, innit? And you know what? He asked me to, he asked to link me at five. We, I used to finish, I used to finish school at 3.25. I went to St. Andy Dunno. Um, so, yeah, I finished school at 3 25 i got home um probably at four i probably left and wrapped you know like sometimes at school you can like linger but i didn't linger that day in it i made sure i was at, i went home quickly obviously i probably put my little mascara on probably gelled my hair do you understand make sure i look cute a bit little perfume um put on my best jacket my best jeans my jeans probably had like freaking um rhinestones on them because you know them days you know tap galore some 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 lips some lip gloss some, some who knows in it definitely not having my school mascara on probably had three four five ten layers it's probably thick like spiders so anyway i must have gone to if i can find a picture of what i looked like when i was 15 i'm gonna put it in here because i feel like it will help with the story um but yeah so i went to um go link him Oh no, I was walking to the train station, walking, 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 I'm dying in it, I'm calling my friend. Do you know, I was so nervous, I couldn't even, guys, I couldn't even, I couldn't even go straight to the station. So the, next to the station, there's a, an adjacent road, there's this little adjacent road, yeah? Fam, when I got to the adjacent road, yeah, my heart, like, my heart stopped, yeah? I must have gone down the road and the reason i went down the road is because like i had to literally i had to literally get myself together because i was i was i was i was dying like i was actually dying like at my i had like i had kissed two boys i think i think at this point and they were you know they were all right but i had never ever ever, ever linked anybody that I had fancied on this level i couldn't breathe man I couldn't breathe. Like he was fine. So I, 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 I had to go down this road. I'm calling my bridge and I'm like, I'm gonna piss myself. I'm gonna. I can't believe Buff Boy wants to link me. Like a girl like me. I'm just average. Do you understand? So I couldn't. I could. I couldn't cope. Like I couldn't take it. Like I was dying. Like so. Anyway, eventually, like I had to go link my man. Like what am I gonna do? Just like be down this road. Like, like pissing myself, having a heart attack, crying. I have to go link my man. So, um, oh, and now I must have gone, I bopped, I bopped, I bopped, I'm, I'm, and I saw him, innit? I saw Buff Boy. And, um, when I got, when I got, um, when I got to, to him, um, oh my god, he looked, obviously he looked fine. Like, you know, perfect skin, like, ooh, like butter, like, ooh, like baby, like baby. Like, I was innocent. But like, you know what I'm saying? Obviously I'm I'm not as innocent now, so I'm you know <laughs> but I was definitely thinking, oh my god, like your skin looks like ice cream, I just wanna lick your face. So anyway, he must have taken me to um Chase Farm um near Chase Farm Hospital, which is like I would say 15 minute walk from where we live. So we walked there and guys, do you know who he took me? He this guy took me to an abandoned house an abandoned yard we broke into some abandoned yards i don't know how he knew they were abandoned maybe maybe he was naughty who knows maybe he was, oh, I, I don't know how he knew they were abandoned in it like people just know stuff in it like i don't know but we went in there and 
do you know I was only we was only there for 45 minutes to be honest with you 45 minutes to me seemed like a lifetime I'm not gonna lie to you it seemed like it seemed like hours because I was so nervous yeah and I didn't have that much boy experience but obviously I was like I was scared like a shell and then my mom said I bet calling my phone and I think at this point it was like 6 30 so I had probably, yeah, I've been only with him for like 45 minutes, an hour max we've been talking. And then I literally said to him, I have to go home. Imagine, I was, I'm, I was 15 at the end of the day though, of course I have to go home. I'm like, I never, why would I not be home at 6.30? My school, even if, you know, at school, yeah, what we used to do sometimes, if one is to be part of the cool crew, even though school finished at 3.25, sometimes you'll take the long way home with your brethren just so you could be on the bus with all like with all the other schools and what, with everyone. So what sometimes I used to do is I'd get them the WA and go to Edmonton for no reason just to be with people. Just so I could be in Edmonton with everyone who's gang. I just wanted to be part of gang. So I'll go Edmonton, sometimes I'll go with Green, sometimes I'll go Tottenham. No reason. And I had another friend who lives in Enfield, we used to do the same thing. So we'll just be like, ah, let's F it in it. We have nothing to do. Let's just roll with everyone on the bus. So we'll just used to take bus trips. But even if I went to Edmonton, Tottenham, Wood Green, like the latest I'd be home, the latest I would enter the yard is six. Do you understand? Because it's 325. You know, you if you get on the bus even at four, like four you get to Tottenham Wood Green at five-ish, you, you go to McDonald's, get a little ting, and then you get on the bus, you get home at six, six, ten latest, like, but uh, me not being home at 6.30, like, my mum was barely my phone, in it, and I knew, because I knew I wasn't, because I wasn't picking up, because I didn't know, I didn't know how to lie, I didn't know what to say, she was obviously concerned, so, like, anyway, do you know it's what's crazy? I was so friggin' innocent that I was very unaware of what people did when they linked. I was very unaware with anything sexual. So um, when I told him I had to leave, he then kissed me. I died. I died. My body was floating. My body was floating. I was in heaven. I couldn't believe this buff specimen's lips was on mine. I couldn't, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe this fine ass guy's lips was on mine. I mean, Oh my god, he was just so beautiful to me. Like you guys don't understand, he was so beautiful to me. So he's he ki he was kissing me, and then you guys are gonna think this is a bit weird because I'm 50. I'm not a kid, but I think he wanted to just like fill me up. You know, sometimes like you have like okay, you know like people have what's this thing called? I've heard it's called it's not called stages it's called base have you ever heard people say like back in the day in movies they'll be like oh did you go to base did you do base one base two base three and all that kind of chat and it just describes all the levels from kissing to, 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 to maybe just like feeling someone up to maybe um touching them in a, a bit inappropriately to maybe like oral sex or actual sex or wh whatever so um i didn't I, I i was just so dumb and innocent like i didn't even i, I didn't even fathom that more than a kiss could happen so he tried to put his hands down my jeans <laughs> sorry bull i have to tell them <laughs> he, he, like if you see this i still love you but he tried to put my hands down my my my, my pants and i was really confused i, I was actually really confused because i didn't know what he wanted down there like i know that sounds stupid but i didn't know what he wanted down there for what what is he looking for what is he looking for and this might sound dumb, but I didn't realise that a woman had to get wet before sex. I, I just didn't understand what he was doing. But anyway, he tried, and I, I don't think there was... I don't think... No, I don't think it worked. I don't know if me and him... I don't know if he actually played Flick the Bean, is what I'm trying to say. I, I don't know. I don't think he did. I think I was so confused that he... Threw, it threw him off and I was just like, what are you doing? And then he was just like, uh... I think he must have thought, has this girl never got fingered? And I hadn't, <laughs> you understand? So, um... I basically, um... I basically, um... I had to, I had to go, so I... I just obviously got myself together and I left and I was just on cloud nine. Anyway, after that, I actually saw this boy on and off for three years three years and we never ever went all the way we never had sex i didn't even do all we didn't even do oral like we used to just kiss 
he used to touch me a bit, I would touch him a bit, but we used to just kiss. I don't know, he was so pa- You know what, of all the guys I've ever linked, he was the most patient. I, I've had actually, I've had boyfriends after him, when I was 18, 19, who literally would wife me within two to three weeks and then ask me, so what, I'm your boyfriend now, so what, like, let me break your virginity. Like, I've had boys be so impatient with me. He was so patient. He was such an angel. And this may sound a bit dumb, and it's just like, Lani, the past is the past, but I, my, the point I'm trying to make is, I thought, I thought that losing your virginity, I thought age was what was important. I thought losing it when you're old is important. Guy, like, this guy literally was my everything. Like, we used to hang out beyond his room. Um, I think I drew pictures for him, and, he was just like, he was like my best mate. You guys don't even understand. It wasn't even about nothing. We we were just brethren, that lips like. And he was so patient with me. And anyway, um, I feel like because he, I thought he was so buff, I never felt like I was worthy of being with him. Deep inside, I think that's what I thought. Um, I always felt like, because he was a lighty, I always felt like, and, and and you know what, this is partly, he's partly to blame in this. One second, let me just brush this. Um, I used to always, um, he used to like make comments like, like, he used to make little rude comments sometimes, but I guess like he was a kid as well. So I, I, I can't blame him for the comments he made because he was young. Does that make sense? But he would make stupid, like, colorist jokes sometimes. And I don't think he meant them. But at the time, like, I don't know. We were just young. We were just dumb, innit? Um, the reason I know he didn't mean them is because I, I just know him. Like, I still talk to him now. He didn't mean them. Um, we don't talk it all the time, but I know for a fact he didn't mean them. But um, I think where I, in my head, I believe that he should be with a lighty. I just didn't think it was worthy. So I think part of me not giving me him my virginity was to do with the fact that I just felt like I should wait to give it to my husband or my boyfriend or someone that would really, really appreciate it. And I can understand where I was coming from. But then, like, when is this perfect prince going to come? That That's out of my control. When is this perfect person who's going to appreciate my body going to come? That's out of my control. I can be waiting until I'm 26, 27, 30, 35. I can be waiting forever. So, um, so when I was 20, I met this guy in Tottenham. Um, another lighty. Um, not as gorgeous as Buff Boy, but just on the next lighty. Um, within three weeks to a month of knowing this guy. Can you imagine three years versus three weeks to a month? Within a month and i feel like at that time i think i was just I, w I wouldn't say i was desperate to have sex but i feel like a lot of my friends are making me feel really really stupid and naive for not having sex like you grow up lani you need to grow up stop being a kid because i was like i said i was very sheltered i was like this big baby and like my friends used to just say to me like wagwan well, like you that like, you actually need to grow up so i felt a lot of peer pressure so within a month of knowing this guy from tottenham I let him literally put my cherry. It was excruciating. Like, what the fuck was I thinking? And like, when I deep it now, I just think, really, girl? Uh, and this, if I tell you this story, it's just so jarring. The second guy from Tottenham, um, I was just dumb, man. I had no experience with boys. So when I linked him, and we did whatever, he was re he was nice to me, I'm not going to lie to you, he was really nice to me. He used to call me, talk to me every day on the phone, like, he gave me bare attention, told me I was beautiful, all this. He would pick me up, and then he would take me to get food, and we used to get ice cream together, I used to hang out, out with his friends in the space of this small month. And then one time I went to his house, and he popped my cherry. I even met his mum, you know. And then, um, I, I was so dumb because after we had had, um, it wasn't really sex. I think it was just literally two strokes because it was painful. But after we did, maybe not two, maybe five. But after we had done that, I, he then, I then had a conversation with him. And I remember being in the kitchen. Um, I had a conversation with him and I basically, I was so dumb. I kind of assumed that the fact that we had done that meant that he wanted to be my boyfriend. 
so the next conversation was and i think if i'm honest i didn't like him that much i think that i just felt like you have if you sleep with someone they should that means that you're together so um i, I tried to have that conversation with him like about like you know obviously like taking the next step and he was just like i'm not ready for a relationship and um I wasn't necessarily hurt by him because I didn't actually like him all that much. But what I was hurt by is that I played myself. Um, I let peer pressure and people in my ear and these these all these thoughts drive me to make a decision that was dumb. Like my me thinking age was the biggest factor on when you should lose your virginity meant that I didn't give it to my best friend. <sighs> I don't even... It's not even that sad, like, for me to get emotional, but... I mean, I really regret that. I, I, I don't know, people don't even know this about me, but I take sex really seriously. I feel like when you give your body to someone, it's, like, a really big deal. I feel like sex is really sacred, and I just wish I gave it to, to him. Like, the first guy, who was my best mate. I just wish, I just feel like that would have been a really beautiful... That would have been really beautiful. And, like, the older I've got, the more I think, like, what the fuck was I thinking? Like, I gave my virginity to some random guy I was linking, bro. I regret that, man. Proper, man. I really do, man. It's just disappointed. I know it's it sounds so dumb and it's years ago, but I'm just disappointed in what I did, innit? I just feel, feel like sometimes I've made, like, some dumb decisions in life, you know? With boys, man. Some dumb decisions. Um... Fucking hell. And you know what? I oh, just... Just... What an angel. And you know his mum DM'd me one time I went viral for something bad. And she just said that she remembers me because I, I, I drew pictures for him. And she thought I was a lovely girl. Your son is a lovely boy. Your son is a lovely boy. So... Yeah, mum. Don't let anyone ever make you feel like you can't lose it to your best friend i'm literally fighting back the tears it's not, it's not even i'm not even sad i'm not even sad you know i'm just um do you know what it is yeah i just feel like sometimes in life as women like we take sex really seriously and guys don't and how many people do we give our bodies to and they don't appreciate our bodies, our temple, our flower? Do you know what I mean, man? That's why I'm, like, celibate, like, I haven't been with anyone in a year. And if if you meet me on a regular basis, like, if you, if you were in my life, you would know that I don't really talk about, like, dating or, like, boys and stuff. Like, um, you know... I'm very, I, I, I try and be selective with who I give my virginity to. But if I have to give advice to anyone who's really young, I'll just say to you, yeah. Um, make sure. I don't want you to not romanticise your virginity. I don't want you to not give it to the, a guy that loves you or you're in a relationship with. Um, but if that's not happening, I don't want you to be scared to give it to your friend. Especially somebody that respects you, bro. Do you understand? Like, having sex with people that respect you. Um, fam, like, honestly, like, God, God, I don't even know this would make me feel like this, you know? <sighs> Sorry. Having sex with people that respect you. Yeah. I just feel like you want to go to bed feel uh, you want to go to bed at night and, and feel good about yourself do you understand you don't want to feel like you've been used you don't want to feel like an object do you understand you don't want to feel like do you know that guys that count virginities that guys that count virginities yeah you don't want to be um uh, god i'm ruining my makeup you don't want to be um just a number you don't want someone to count to count like you don't like um, I'm not really hurt by this that particular guy, but when I deep it, 
do you understand like that was my virginity do you understand that was like my first time having sex like that's my cherry and i gave it to some random guy in tottenham over my best friend i don't know why i did that man i don't know why i did that i just poor decision making skills man lose it to someone that respects you someone who's got love for you bro like my best fucking friend like do you understand like that guy was there for me and then I had this patient brother and I, ugh, I just, just dick and move, man. If you've got a friend there, someone that respects you and loves you, you're better off. Your first time, that, that's something you always remember, even when you're 50, like, I think. Do you understand? Like, that's, that's a bond. That's your first time. I don't care what anyone says. If you guys think I'm moist, like, I think sex is important. That, that's, a, that's a bond. Your, your, your virginity, your first time. Like, don't just give it to some waste man. Like, ugh. he wasn't even a waste man. The guy wasn't mean. But I just, why would I do that when I had a king in my life, like, a king, so, those are my regrets. Um, I didn't know it would make me feel like that. It's something that I've always thought in my in my head, but I just never said it out loud until now. Um, I really hope that um, Buff Boy watches this video. And um, I just want to close the video by saying I just hope you guys learn from my story. And Buff Boy, I just want to say <laughs> oh god i just want to say um thank you for um thank you for thank you for you were just so patient you were just like the perfect guy i just um want to thank you for being such a good friend to me when i was younger and i really appreciate you and your mom that you guys are really nice people Yeah, sorry. Oh, I'm not sad. I'm just overwhelmed because um, I've never told people that I regret how I lost my virginity. I'm really overwhelmed. But I just, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, for being who you are. Honestly, there's not enough people like you in this world. Just really, 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 really. I'll never forget you. You're always going to be in my heart. Okay, enough. I have to go on live. I have to go on live. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not even sad. I'm I'm, I'm good. Uh, but I just want. I don't want any little girl to regret. How they lose theirs. Um, lose it to someone that respects you. Lose it to somebody that has love for you. They don't even have to be like some buff guy like me. Just lose it like. It's better to lose it to your friend than to lose it to a shit boyfriend that's just going to cheat on you and break your heart. Trust me. You want your first experience, the one that you're going to remember for the rest of your life to be. Um, you want it to be a beautiful one to remember. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Get me? You, trust me. Trust me. When I have a daughter, I'm going to tell her that doing it with a friend is the way to go. In my opinion, in it, But... <laughs> Bye guys, until the next video. <laughs> oh god, I can't believe I cried. Went from a five to a ten, you know. Bitch, bow down. Look who turned to a clown now. I came back like a Marianne. You fell off like bow wow. You ain't got no class. Can't sit with us, can't come to my school. Ain't got time for these dumb little fools.